If you've played Valorant before, there's a fair chance you've heard the phrase 9-3 curse at some point. If you're not familiar with it though, basically there's an idea that when the score of a Valorant match is 9-3 at half time, the team with only 3 rounds has an unnaturally high chance to come back and win the game. But what if it's actually much more than just a superstition? Riot just published an article about the 9-3 curse going into a lot of the actual stats behind comebacks in Valorant. And there's definitely a few trends to take a look at. Firstly though, we'll just start with this simple graph of the real world comeback rate. In this case, a comeback was considered to be either an outright win or even just forcing overtime. You can see that if one team was leading with 9 rounds at half time, the other team would only have an 11% chance of winning that game, which obviously is not very high. There's more to it than just that one graph though. When you start to factor in the maps and the attacking slash defending side, things actually start to look more likely. For example, teams trailing 3 to 9 on Ascent were making a comeback 4% more frequently than they should. Ascent is well above most of the other maps, and I think that's due to it being pretty defense sided, but still the point remains that teams were making comebacks more frequently than they should across all maps, but why is that? It's actually because of the economy and how the first few rounds of a Valorant half play out. The first round is the pistol round, then the second round is the eco, and the third is the bonus. So with that in mind, take a look at this graph. If a team trailing 3-9 wins those first 3 rounds of the second half, their chance to win the game would go all the way up to 36%, which is more than triple what it was at half time. Even though they're still down 3 rounds, they have a massive economic advantage over the other team, and in general are in a good position to pile on more rounds. But what does this mean for you as the average Valorant player? Well, if you're the team winning 9-3 at half time, then you should be careful not to overestimate the safety that lead actually gives you because you can easily get too cocky and that could lead to things getting out of hand pretty quickly. Alternatively, if you're the team losing 3-9, then you should take the opportunity of swapping sides to reset your mental for the game, focus on winning those first three rounds and take it from there.